Hello, I'm Richard Winters, and today I want to talk to you about a tradition and a style of training that incorporates what we call the two rein. I will ride her for a year in this mechanism, giving her the opportunity to feel what this bridle is about. And the great thing about this setup is that if things would get a little bit fast in these early stages, the last thing I want to do is pick up on these reins and pull hard and tug hard on a mouth that's very sensitive, that doesn't really understand the leverage and the port and the chin strap. It allows me to say, hey, hey babe, come here, come here, give me your nose. And I can use this hackamore rein, something that she understands and stay off of those bridle reins. So in these first few months, you should see me riding like this, where it is 90% hackamore, 10% bridle. She's still feeling that bridle rein up against her neck, but she's not feeling the pull on that bit. She's not feeling the tug of the chin strap. As the weeks go by, we'll just begin to pick up on that more and more where it gets just about equal. Again, depending on the job I'm doing at a given time, I decide what she can handle. Can she feel those bridle reins? Do I need to loosen those bridle reins up and just have her feel the hackamore? It's a transition time, what we call the two rein. At the end of maybe a year, our horse will be feeling pretty confident with this bridle bit haven't scared her at all, or we'll take that little hackamore away and she will be what we call straight up in the bridle. That's where she'll be. But this California style of tradition, it, it's a long process. It's not something we get done in 30 days or 60 days or 90 days. But for those people who appreciate these traditions and enjoy the process, it's kind of a fun way to work on a horse. And truly, anywhere along in my horse's life later on, I might decide just to put the two rein on just to mix it up. Plus, I think it looks really cool. When my horse is straight up in the bridle, and if I'm showing my horse, the rules actually say that I have to hand my, have my hand clasped all the way around these reins. I can't split my fingers like this. But during this time of transition with the two rein, it's very possible my horse might need a little help, might need a little inside rein. So during this time, I can slide a rein and get that left rein to get my horse's nose or split those reins between my fingers to help get that horse's nose back around to the right. And then over time, I will find that I will need to do that less and less to be able to control my horse till ultimately I can just lay this rein across her neck and she responds and knows how to move around. So next time you see somebody riding around with all this stuff in their hands, trying to figure out what in the world are they doing, it's called the two rein and it's a phase of training following the California tradition. It's kind of a fun deal. It's how I was brought up and raised. I'm still trying to figure it out, but uh, there you go. That's the two rein. I'm Richard Winters. Thanks for watching.